this is Dawn and welcome to Gulf Coast October and this is a place where I just get into all kinds of stuff and today I don't know how to explain what I'm doing but um, I want to make like this memory art piece uh, for our pets and specifically we have pet rats yeah um, I want to give a little warning real quick um, in this video I am going to show a picture or some video of our dead rat his name was Temple 10 He's not the first pet rat that we've had that's had to pass away. And so we do have this little ritual and I'm gonna share that with you guys. So even though I'm gonna show this in a little bit, um, I feel like it was done tastefully, in my opinion anyway. But um, but also I'm gonna do this tribute uh, painting art piece. I don't know what to call it. Um, and I just had this kind of vague idea in my head. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to decorate a canvas piece. Actually, I think, I think my teenager wanted me to use this one, this size. I'm going to paint it, decorate it, and leave space for memories of our little pets. After Templeton passed away, I did little feet prints. So I'm going to put this on there. And I had one of his whiskers that was on my pillow right before he passed away, and I can't find it. And I'm really sad, but maybe I'll find it. And then in here, and this little, it's been sitting here, this is a piece of fur from when Nibbles passed away. And I don't have anything of Marco, but Marco is still in our deep freeze, which is kind of weird, I know, but we were just, he was our first rat, and we're just, but I think he might end up going down the river, just like our other boys. So before I get situated with this, I'm going to share with you the ceremony that my child and I had for... Templeton a few days ago. This is pretty common with us. Yes, uh, you're about to see our pet after he passed away. Thank you for joining us. As you can tell, we love our animals very much. Okay, so with these cheap canvases and cheap paints and cheap paint brushes, I have got to get the canvas really wet first. It's very helpful. Um, if you see this off to the side, this thing, that is a crystal. These are wands and I rubber band my lights to this and it becomes like an Olight, a really good light source. I must make a couple of disclaimers really quick before I get out of y'all's way and let you just watch me paint. Um, there's a candle in some of the pictures and videos here. It's not a real candle. I know somebody's gonna see it and get real freaked out. I promise. I would never let my rats play with a real candle. Also, when we let these animals go into the river, they really just go up just a little ways and off to the side and they become part of the cycle of life. That is my teenager's wishes and I respect that. About the painting, I paint out my feelings as I go and as I'm thinking of my pets. And you know, right now I'm thinking about Templeton a lot, but I miss Nibbles, I miss Marco. I'm thinking about how much gratitude I have that these little loving animals bring into our life. And I'm really wondering, what does it look like on the other side? Is there a tunnel? Is there this light at the end that they're drawn to? Anyway, I'm going to be quiet and let y'all watch. Y'all watch.
Hey you guys, this is Frank. Say hi Frank. Frank was adopted from our local animal center that my teenager volunteers at. He has half a tail. He was like that before we got him. Um, anyway, so I was trying to figure out how do I do this? What does this look like? You know, I get it. This isn't the most spectacular painting, uh, creative endeavor. <laughs> I don't know, but it meant something. It was heartfelt. I enjoyed it. And uh, sorry, I'm slurring my speech a little bit. I do have lingual nerve damage and it's after midnight. I'm just trying to get this done. But uh, yeah, but I love doing these vines and roses and everything. And I think my kid is just going to draw a little picture of Marco. So we have something for his square. And I've got some video footage of Templeton when he was still alive, just when he was feeling not too great. Sorry about this. I had to get up close on my canvas. So here's some videos coming up. Um, yeah. Oh, and this candle, uh, it is not a real candle. It's not a real candle. It's just fake. So yeah, they play with it sometimes. Um, so hey, uh, Frank, what do you think of the painting? Do you like it? I think he approves. <laughs> All right, uh, you guys. Um, yeah, stay golden, huh? Bye. Maybe.